Hey everyone, it's ADS Diecast here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at a bunch of vintage green light and a couple of random newer pieces. Uh, I just have a bunch of stuff lying around and I thought why not crack them all open. As you can tell, some of these are, the packaging at least, is not in the greatest of condition. But they are very old green light models and I'm very excited to open these. We will open up these in a moment. Because of course, we'll save the best for last, right? So, we'll just start with some of the newer stuff that's just been kicking around. And let's go with this Vintage Ad Cars Series number 4, 84 GMC Sierra 2500. This is a great series, I love it. Car in here without breaking it. Apparently, my lens is a bit dirty. Just clean that real quick. There we go. So there we go. Here we have this GMC 2500. I believe this is a diesel, too, right? Yeah, 6.2 diesel, long bed. I haven't been buying much green light lately, not because I don't want to. Um, inserted uh, grill, grill piece there. Um, I just haven't been buying much green light just because there isn't any available. Um, nobody has any, and I'm not paying the ridiculous shipping prices from the States. 49.71 is the number there. Um, yeah, I love Greenlight. They're coming up with some amazing stuff, and I want to get a hold of it. But no diecast stores have cases available right now. And the Walmarts that carry the Matt Greenlight, they're just old stock, and nobody's restocking anything. So it's unfortunate, but I'm doing what I can. I'm trying to stay up to date on Greenlight, but that's very difficult. So there's that one. Moving right on, we have this Dually Drivers 2019 350 Lariat. Dually Drivers Series 5. Same packaging as always. Um, these are pretty new, like 2020 copyright dates, I think. Yeah. Oh, I thought I broke the mirror. <laughs> so I try and buy green light by the case. If I find it at Walmart, I try to buy the entire set or I just don't buy anything, which is good and bad. Um, because the problem is, if one car is missing from that set, I'm like, well, I'll just buy it when I find the whole set. And then I end up finding every car but that one car I could have grabbed. Insert a grill piece, separate piece bumpers, lens detail, a whole nine yards on this one. Plastic base, which is all right. Um, just a nice, plain-looking red F-350, 65, 45. Nice-looking truck. Tucked off the side. Yeah, so if I end up finding a new green light, I'll buy it, but just there isn't any available. We have a 74 Dotson 260Z from the La Carrera Pan America series. Series 1. This is kind of a weird series. Kind of neat. 20, 2019 copyright date. We'll uh, should look at that for a second. I right, right, grab. Thing here. So every card in the series has its own number. It's just a piece of cardboard, but kind of neat. Lots oh, in 260Z. Very oily. Yeah, that'll clean up no problem. Very tiny little wheels. 493 is the number there. A lot of detail going on with this. Bit sloppy on the back, but not a big deal. Lens to inserts. I don't think the hood opens on this. Oh man, that's a good roller. 
<laughs> look how tiny that is compared to the trucks. Um, what did we open here? I think that's pretty much it. Nope, I got one more newer car. Uh, we have this 2017 Camaro SS in green from the GL Muscle Series. This has pretty much stayed the same packaging as well. Series 21 from 2018. So if you don't know, and I mentioned it before, I'm trying to get every single uh, release from Greenlight, which is, I know, insane. No chases. I, I would like to get a green body or, or a raw version of every car, but for the most part, just standard releases. Inserted details there. Inserted details in the back. It's a nice casting. Yeah, green lights are a little more oily, which I know is weird, but they're a bit oily. Not a big deal. They'll clean up nice. A little spoiler on that. That's a nice looking Camaro. And moving on to the more interesting stuff. Here we got um, the packaging actually fell apart on me. It's this Motor World Series 14 Volkswagen. Um, there's all the cars in that series. I try to keep the packaging for green light. And here's the bus. Like I said, the packaging fell apart. That series, the glue just doesn't hold. Um, I think the bumper is coming off. I might have to re-glue that. Pretty plain, basic. Motor World is the less premium line from Greenlight. Um, definitely older. Uh, plastic base, metal body, um, but pretty good detail. Nice little Greenlight. Uh, looks like a bus. I do have another bus here. It is this Pinnacle Van Pennzoil from Series 9. What cover it is this? 2013. We have a lot more in this one. Um, do I want to rip this open or do I want to just cut it? Where did... Yeah, screw it. We're just kind of ripping it open because I can't find my blade. Some of these early um, Motor World um, castings are um, not the most exciting things in the world. Um, they're just basic vehicles with sometimes liveries on them like this. So they're not the most exciting thing in the world, but you can get them pretty cheap. I only really paid, I think I said eight bucks for this. Canadian, of course. So another one on the list for the Volkswagens. Um, this one I definitely want to cut open is the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. I've never seen this one before in person. These early, early, early motor worlds are pretty much impossible to find. Um, what copyright is this? 2010. So they got a 356 Porsche in there. They got a bunch of stuff. Let's see if I can cut this open real quick so you don't have to wait too much, guys. If not, I will just rip it. I try to keep a lot of this packaging for references to know that I have it. Plus, it's just cool to keep. I don't know for myself. There we go. Yeah. There's the card art. See? Let's cut it open. Throw it down the side. So this is um, an interesting tooling. So plastic tires, plastic base, metal body. So I... Hmm. I think... Don't don't quote me, but I believe this is a Siku tooling. Because the early stuff was shared toolings from other brands. Maybe a fair detail on it, though. Pretty, pretty limited, but... Still a nice looking van. I don't believe this is true 164, but I mean, maybe it is. Because there's Dotson. Um, yeah, I believe this is a Siku tooling. I'll have to go buy a Siku um, Metris van, whatever the heck it's called. Um, Sprinter van at some point, because I gotta compare that. Because that's the 
very, very similar. Um, what else are we going to look at here? Oh, I still do have a newer car to look at. Oh, my bad, my bad. It's 2018 Laramie uh, train truck. Dually Driver Series 5. I didn't really have any other videos to put this in, so I just included it in this. This one's a very cool truck. I might have to take off this mirror. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to break it, break it. Because you see how pushed up that mirror is? Um, again, very oily. But it'll clean up good for sure. This part is just plastic. It doesn't move. Um, but a very cool truck nonetheless. Something's up with this bumper. It's not sitting on there quite right. I either broke it or pushed it back in. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's sticking out a bit, but... Number 9748. Nice looking train truck. It's huge, though. I mean, look at it compared to that Datsun. Okay, so more interesting stuff to look at here. We have a 63 Chrysler 300K from the Black Bandit series, series number eight. The early stuff is very limited. The, the, the Black Bandits actually had production numbers on them. As you can see, number uh, limited to 3,000. 2013 cup rotate, so a little bit newer, but not too crazy. Love the Black Bandit series. Ooh, man, that looks good. That's a strange casting, but I think this one has an opening hood. It sure does. Hard to see, but there is detail there. Man, this thing looks good with the steelies. That's a nice looking car for sure. Very happy to have that one. Some of the early stuff is very tricky to find. Uh, da, 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 what should we look at? Okay, we'll go with the 69 Dodge Charger Daytona. So this is a weird series. Uh, Street and Strip by Muscle Car Garage. Series number eight. It's very tiny. Um, 2008 copper date. So these are weird. So I can't really explain it on this video, but if you go, if you go on my Facebook page, um, you can look up in my album section. Uh, it'll be in the link in the in the description. Um, this series is weird. It, Muscle Car Garage has its own subcategories that we're gonna look at. So there's stock and custom, street and strip. There's like a bunch of random series, but they're. It, it, the numerical order of how they are is very strange, but if you look it up on my Facebook page there, it'll explain more. Because um, it's quite complicated when I was looking that up. Just trying to open this hood without damaging it. I think I, I, think I got it. Yep. Oh. It doesn't want to stay open, that's alright. At least it shuts. Muscle Car Garage 8. That's pretty cool. A little chip on the front, but not a big deal. 5019 is the number there. Early tooling number. GL30. See? Green Rivet. And I've mentioned this a million times. The Green Rivet is how you can... Uh, signify a, an early release of green light um, from a newer one. So that's a very nice Daytona. Happy to add that one. Uh, next we'll look at a custom 71 Plymouth Cuda. 
destroyed packaging, but a beautiful purple stock and custom series number three. 2007 copyright date, so very, very early. Packaging on this stuff is just destroyed. Oof, these cards stink too. Even detail on the top of the motor there. Shuts nice. Pretty much perfect roller. Obviously this is a um, different color because it is a plastic top because they make a convertible version of this. 383. Nice big wheels. White with a chrome lip. This one's a very nice casting. Cuda. Yeah, some of the early green lights, the, just the detail they did with all this. Just looks so much better than the newer stuff on some of it. Um, man, that's such a nice looking car. I love that. Um, did I say the number on this? No. 5033. And again, green rivet. On to the next one. We have a custom 2006 Camaro. Um, from the Stock and Custom series number three. You can actually tell the difference between each series of subcategory based off the color. So series three will all be this blue. It's super strange, but if you look up the pictures, it'll uh, make a little bit more sense when you look it up online. Some pretty neat painted top, but it is metal. Let's see if we can get that hood open. Nice chrome detail. BF Good Wrench tires. I love these wheels. I don't think I've have I seen these wheels. No, I have seen these wheels from Greenlight. They just look different for some reason. RSSS 2048 Green Rivet. Just the build quality on these are so much better. And I gotta talk to somebody at Greenlight. I've been in contact with somebody at Greenlight for a little while now, and I'm gonna talk to them about the build quality because I'm sure they've heard it before, but it definitely needs to be fixed. Because other than that, they're fantastic models. Some of the new stuff is just it's unfortunate some of the build quality issues. It really is. A um, couple more to look at here. Um, yeah, two more to look at. We got Another Cuda in orange, stock and custom, series three. I believe this is the uh, the other version of that purple card. This is the stock version. Here we have it in an orange. Paint's a little rough, but that's just because this... Um, this car is in such awful packaging. Um, it's been sitting in the sun for so long. Yeah, I think this is the A and B equivalent to the other one we saw there. Let's see if I can get this hood open. Take a look at that. That's cool for sure. Shuts nice. Good roller. 3616 green of it. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice Cuda. And one more to look at today. And that will be the custom 2007 Mustang in blue from Stock and Custom series number three. It's a shame this packaging is so destroyed. It's all right with me, I'm ripping it open. So again with this tooling, is convertible tooling, so they just have a plastic top. Um, this paint is much better on this one. Color matched. Nice looking wheels. GTCS California Special. Very nice engine detail there. Little 
spoiler on it. Good roller. 3511. Green ribbon. That is a nice, nice, nice casting. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. That's a lot of stuff to look at. Check out those custom vehicles there. And that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know I kind of ramble on and I'm not really prepared with these videos, but it is what it is. And hopefully you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more.